All right, guys, we're back in Helldivers 2 today, and we've got a load of news coming from the CEO of Arrowhead with regards to the planet Liberation that's due to come into play with the Major Order. On top of that, we've also got some stuff with regards to terminals and some funny pieces coming from you guys over on the Reddit. We're also going to take a look at the balancing for the weapons today, so make sure that you stay tuned for that one. If you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. Also, on top top of that make sure you check out our sponsor advanced gg the number one clinically proven energy supplement on the market my favorite flavor is cherry vanilla but you guys can catch an array of flavors via the link in the description utilizing code cloud at checkout will get you a cheeky discount but with that being said let's dive on into today's video so starting off the ceo of arrowhead has posted up with regards to planet liberation stating i've seen many hell divers 2 posts about the planet liberation amount at peak ccu and the community is able to liberate high amounts but as soon as peak passes the enemies manage to take the planet back each planet is sized consistently think hp regen and this means that at low ccu planets lose liberation percent it's a push and pull so essentially what we've been covering over the last few days is that the major order has been running over and we seem to be making less progress as time goes on but we're essentially what we're saying here is with the four days remaining on this liberation that is going to take its toll backwards and forwards the end goal though is by the end of the five days is that we have control at that point we're obviously going to be able to obtain the 45 medals by the back end next up though we have got a post which has pretty much set the community straight with this one and we had a post right here from unleashed stating sorry xbox but everyone knows the truth with the photo of hell divers over hey now the CEO of Arrowhead has actually set the community straight with this one by stating why compare just let gamers love and enjoy both either or neither we need more compare passion and union in the world and less rivalry as an overall what we're seeing is that the hell divers community seems to be running on a motive of just overall togetherness which is actually really humbling to see in the gaming community because we just don't see it anywhere else nowadays we have got a funny post coming up right here though on the reddit which says that why don't automatrons just destroy the terminals to win are they stupid now this post managed to get 4800 upvotes and to be completely frank it does seem to make a lot of sense it does make me laugh the way that these missions kind of run and process considering that we can't last longer than about 20 seconds without getting taken out these things do seem to survive the test of time when it comes to the actual mission strength next though another one for you guys to make sure that you stay tuned on is this right here with 3800 upvotes it's the amount of times that i found one of these and had the other three players completely ignore it even if i mention it in the text chat now what i will state is make sure that you keep an on your screens this is a strategic game and it's one that kind of needs you guys to find as many of the supplies as you can so make sure you stay in tune if you've not got a full squadron as to what it is that your teammates are actually saying that way you can obviously run this up because this one takes two people to open the door with this so it's kind of important to be able to get those things done and our primary piece for today is with regards to the weapon balancing but before we do get into that guys if you haven't already head down to the description and go and check out our discord link this discord has now got around 1700 people inside of it like-minded hell divers like yourselves that are all jumping in for lfgs memes and all good things so make sure you jump on in for a chat about democracy and we can find out how that one plays forward so rolling into this post though 1.6k upvotes and it states right here that they unlocked the last primary the dominator and i can say with an above average degree of confidence that many of the weapons in this game in practical terms are not worth unlocking or using now i massively agree with this one this one that actually really frustrates me i've managed to get through about half of the battle pass already on this one and we've unlocked quite a few weapons and i still seem to be using the same two which is generally the breaker or the liberator everything else doesn't really seem to hit the same way but this post is quite lengthy so obviously the link is down in the description for you guys to check it out yourselves if you so wish but it states right here that my discipline appointment is substantial whatever the stats are it's irrelevant in the face of a practical field test i've run a bunch of seven missions with a variety of primaries against bots and bugs and in terms of applicable killing power plus usability in high intensity situations the only viable option it seems to be the liberator defender breaker slugger and scorcher and even then the scorcher is barely usable due to its magazine count 
being limited. The primary sin of the rest of the guns comes down to the applied damage, followed closely by magazine size and count. The net feel of the remaining guns is that you can't kill things fast enough, and even if you do, it takes way too many bullets to do so. I'm sure there are people playing with really specific ways to make other guns work, or with pre-made groups that essentially pick up the slack, but in my mind, that's just a workaround. I do not know how the mechanics work, but I'd expect a few things. As far as the incendiary guns do enough burn damage that I can fire fewer bullets and let the burning do the rest of the work in the same time that is slightly longer than just shooting it to death, but not so long that I should have just shot it to death. As far as the explosive guns go, should be shredding armor values on the hit. While they might not penetrate right away, I'd expect explosive rounds to reduce armor over time, increasing applied damage. Now, as far as armor penetration, should be ignoring a percentage of armor damage reduction based on the pen and the armor of the target. Thresholds where the guns are, does zero damage are fine, but seem way too common among the guns versus the upper end mobs. This is partly why the railgun is so prevalent, as primaries simply can't deal with the glut of armored mobs common at higher levels so far so good though the guy seems to have nailed this one down to a t and we've got one more point to go through which is the weak spots before he finalizes it up but it does seem to make a lot of sense as to why these weapons aren't working now we do know that we've got a weapon balance patch coming up over oncoming weeks and it seems really interesting how it is that they're planning it out with a complete changeover when it regards to the roadmap going forward now he goes to final statement and states weak spot damage should be clearer and the slack driftness in their aim system make hitting weak spots a gamble in most combat scenarios a precision mechanic in a game with such aggressive aggro rules shoot once get rushed and curated mobility have to move a lot has a limited place if any i'll stop but i hope that this is at least a constructive perspective to add to the pile for arrowhead i love collecting and trying different guns in games tanto and ninja from hd1 were my favorites but hd2 has so many obsolete choices i felt like i needed to say something looking forward to improvements now he's managed to nail this one down quite well and realistically as far as weapon choice goes it does seem pretty stagnant which is why we're having the issues with players being kicked out for not running the meta builds and this does seem to be a bit of an issue right now although what we are finding in the comments sections of a lot of these videos is that actually a lot of you guys really don't bother with that and you're uh, you seem to be working quite well together to be able to teach people how to play the game in that regard so massive well done to you guys we've got to, to go into the rest of this week and make sure that we keep the major order low enough that we can make sure we penetrate it down to 100 percent via the end of the week unfortunately that's all we've got time for today though if you haven't already smash the beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on and if you got this far into the video then stick in a red heart down in the comment section below as we are currently giving away a copy of hell divers 2 or or if you've already got it, then we're going to be giving you guys the equivalent money rights in the store credit. So make sure you get down to the comment section and stick a red love heart. And we'll be announcing that one within the next couple of weeks. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. Appreciate your faces. Like, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the clouds.